Could you stretch that out mm -hmm. horizontally? I have an ordinary matchbox here. There we are. I'm going to take the tray out. Then we'll thread the streamer through the matchbox. Mm -hmm. There we are. And once again, if you could hold it on the end, hangs there nicely. Yep. I'll replace the tray, and then I'm going to attempt to do something which is really rather miraculous. Mm -hmm. Now, I think you'd agree with me that there's no way of removing that matchbox without tearing the streamer. No, the streamer seems pretty secure. It certainly does. Well, I think I can do it. Mm. And I'm going to do it without you watching. <laughs> I'll place a cloth over it like that. Without me watching too. And then see mm -hmm. if we can get those molecules moving past one another between streamer and matchbox. I think it's working. I'm not too sure, but yes, I think we have transposition occurring. The matchbox is free. There it is. Absolutely free of the streamer. Isn't well, that remarkable? You obviously did it, but I suspect the explanation. Let me no, have no, a look no, at the matchbox. There's the tray of the matchbox. Yes, Perfectly let's, normal matchbox. Let's see the cover of and the there's matchbox. the cover of the matchbox. Yeah, it looks all right, but uh, it's got green where it shouldn't have been. Oh, green. A little bit of green. Mm, a little bit yes. of green. Actually, just a couple of daubs of plasticine. <laughs> <laughs> Works wonders. And that's all for this week's Curiosity Show.